So have you ever wondered what it'd be like if an AI could learn to code better than humans? It sounds a bit sci-fi, right? But uh, get this, Microsoft just might have done something like that with their latest development, Stop. Now I guess you're thinking, what Stop? Well, hold on, because we're going to explore it thoroughly today. And uh, hey, if you're into mind-bending AI advancements, remember to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming. So let's take a quick stroll down memory lane. The evolution of AI has been nothing short of remarkable. Remember when AI was just about basic algorithms solving specific tasks? Fast forward and we got introduced to machine learning where algorithms could learn from data then, deep learning came along, leveraging neural networks to make sense of vast amounts of data in complex ways. But here's where it gets interesting. Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI. This isn't just any AI, it's the kind of AI that can perform any intellectual task that a human can do. And mastering code? That's pivotal in the race to AGI. An AI that doesn't just execute code, but can write optimize, and even improve its coding patterns. So amidst all the advancements, Microsoft drops this bombshell. Stop, the self-taught optimizer. Now you might think, another AI, uh, so what? But Stop is a breed apart. It's not just an AI that codes, it's an AI that teaches itself to code better over time. It genuinely learns from its coding patterns, making tweaks here and there, refining its approach, all on its own. This isn't just your average optimization. We're talking about a system that takes self-improvement to a whole new level. Now, I know it's a bold statement, but some folks are saying this might be the leap towards AGI. But hold on to that thought. We'll dive deeper into that later. All right, so let's set the stage. You've got human coders on one side, you know, folks like us, or maybe even other techie friends, spending hours, days, sometimes weeks, fine-tuning a piece of code. It's not just about writing code, but optimizing it, getting it to run faster, use fewer resources, and adapt to different scenarios. I'm not gonna lie, it's a, it's a heck of a job. Now, enter stop. This beast doesn't need sleep, coffee breaks, or even those random YouTube video breaks we all secretly take. It gets down to business, crunches through possibilities, and comes up with code that's optimized. But here's the kicker. It doesn't just do it once. It evaluates its own work, learns, and then, well, it gets better at it. Imagine coding something today and then tomorrow, you're getting better at it without attending any classes or watching tutorials. It's crazy, right? I think that's the edge of stop. It addresses the challenges faced by traditional coding, especially the time, adaptability and resource challenges. So I'm sure you're curious, what's under the hood of this thing? How does stop actually achieve what it does? Well, let's geek out a bit. STOP stands on the shoulders of two really innovative ideas. Tree of Thought, TOT, and Program AED Language Models, PAL. Now, stick with me here. TOT is kind of like the brain's planning center. It uses large language models to generate intermediate steps for solving problems. It's all about breaking things down. Then you've got PAL, which takes it a step further. It uses those language models to generate programs as intermediate steps, but offloads the execution of those programs to, let's say, a Python interpreter. Marry these two and you get STOP. It takes both natural language steps and program steps to solve the problem in natural language. It's like giving our AI a roadmap and the tools, then watching it figure things out step by step. But uh, it doesn't end there. After generating these steps, STOP then evaluates them based on different metrics like, you know, correctness, efficiency, and simplicity. Depending on this self-evaluation, it selects the best steps for the problem at hand and crafts that into a piece of code. Oh, and the interactive self-improvement cycle of STOP? 
This is where the magic happens. It's a feedback loop where Stop reflects on its own code, identifies strengths and weaknesses, and iteratively improves. It's like every time it does a task, it's prepping for a test, analyzing results, and studying smarter for the next round. Okay, you've probably heard a few big names in the AI world, right? Codex, GPT-4, but how does Stop actually compare to these legends? First up, Codex. That's the one by OpenAI which kind of opens doors for coding using natural language. But Stop, it takes it to another level. While Codex is great for simpler tasks, Stop integrates those tree of thoughts, TOT, and the program AED language models, PAL, we just talked about, making it more nuanced, adaptable, and efficient in generating code. Now, GPT-4. Ah, the granddaddy of language models. GPT-4 is brilliant at language tasks, no doubt. But when it comes to specialized code generation, stop, that's the edge. I mean, it's specifically designed to understand and write code with minimal errors. Let's boil it down. The primary advantage of stop over these others is its capability to self-reflect, learn, and adapt. So you've probably heard about Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI, at least when I mentioned it earlier, right? I mean, it's been the dream for many in the AI field for quite some time. It's this concept of an AI that can pretty much do anything a human can do. Pretty wild, right? Now, with everything we've talked about regarding STOP, I'm sure you're wondering, is STOP taking it a step towards AGI? That's a question on many minds. See, AGI is different from the AIs we have right now. While today's AIs are pretty smart, they're kind of like servants. Super good at one thing, but not really versatile. AGI, on the other hand, would be like, well, you or me. It could learn anything, adapt, and use its knowledge across different fields and tasks. Now, stop self-improvement ability. It's groundbreaking, no doubt. By being able to reflect on its mistakes and optimize its performance, it's somewhat emulating human learning. We mess up, learn, and get better, right? But, and this is a big but, there's still a ways to go before we can say stop or any AI is near a GI level. There are intricacies of human cognition, emotions, intuition, and so much more that we're still figuring out. You know, I think it's fascinating how we're trying to replicate human intelligence. What do you think? How close are we to that reality? I guess the journey there is as intriguing as the destination itself. Okay, so as much as we're hyped about STOP and its capabilities, I guess it's fair to be a bit, uh apprehensive too? I mean, any tech that's advancing this fast is bound to raise some eyebrows, especially if it's teaching itself to be better. First things first, Stop's ability to improve itself doesn't mean it's just going rogue or doing its own thing. It's like, imagine if your computer suddenly decided it's not going to let you use it today. That'd be freaky, right? But that's not what's happening here. Microsoft has been super clear that they've placed Stop in a controlled environment. So the AI can't just decide to go off script and, you know, create its own version of the internet or something. Plus, there are built-in protocols and safety frameworks, ensuring it doesn't deviate from its intended purpose. And it's not just about tech either. Microsoft's been collaborating with ethicists, researchers, and other experts to understand the ramifications and put in safeguards. And honestly, I think it's a smart move. Because while AI like Stop can be revolutionary, it's also essential to keep it in check and ensure it benefits everyone. I hope that eases some of your concerns. But of course, as with all things tech, there's always more to learn and understand. So it's wild to think how far we've come in the AI space. And stop, it's definitely pushing those boundaries. What gets me is the potential of an AI that can teach itself, the doors it could open, the problems it might solve. Microsoft's got their hands full, ensuring it's a tool for good. And I think we'll be hearing a lot more about stop in the near future. 
Hey, you made it this far. You are the real MVP. Show some love and type stop in the comments. Let's see who the true legends are. Hungry for more epic content? A video is popping up now that'll blow your mind. Hit subscribe and smash that like button if you're vibing with us. Stay legendary and thanks for watching.